Oh, we're already recording. <laughs> okay. Well, as promised, I am back again um, with this skin journey shit. And already I have made improvements, a lot of improvements, actually. I'm going to show you guys what my skin looks like now. This is a fresh face. All I did was wash my face. I haven't done anything else. I haven't put anything on it. I've just simply washed my face. And I'm going to show you guys what my skin is looking like now. Before, I had like a bunch of um, white, white heads and like white marks all over my face. Um, and I don't now. Those are pretty much gone. The scars, uh, the scars are still here, but I'll probably put like a comparison. They're definitely fading. What else? Um, the side of my face is looking a lot better. You know, there's still some texture. I still have a few bumps and stuff, but definitely an improvement from, um, from last time when we were here. See? So, Pretty much with this video, let me take my shoes off, get on your level. I'm going to be showing you guys the different products that I have purchased, um, how I'm using them, and how I think that they've been improving. Now, I will say this. I stopped using the um, Kojic Acid Soap only because I wasn't filming every single week like that I was doing it and so I want to start filming the process of like implementing this in my skin routine and like I said it is very drying um and I didn't want to keep using it when I didn't have uh like a proper exfoliant you know to use with it so I was just like I'm I'm not gonna use it I'm just gonna wait and so today I'm gonna be doing a full-fledged routine masking everything um, including using the Kojic Acid so so I can show you guys, you know, start basically filming the process of the results now that I have my new skin routine. This is just an introduction to um, the new products that I've invested in and now officially I'm going to start showing you the results of the soap and how I'm going to clear up my hyperpigmentation. And one more time just so you guys can see. The hyperpigmentation and like it has it it's cleared up a little bit but I know I can do better um, but like I said I know how to snatch my skin back in a heartbeat okay I will snatch that shit back like snapbacks I'm going in first I've already cleaned my face I'm going in first with the Kojic acid soap so like last time I'm literally going to damp my face with cold water I have switched to using just cold water now when I shower and when I do my skin process because I recently learned that using warm and hot water actually damages the skin layer um, and makes your skin really dry so I no longer use hot water and I've only been doing it for literally like 48 hours but since I've said it and I publicized it on the internet now I clearly have to stick to it so Every now and then, if y'all could just drop a comment and ask me if I have been taking cold showers, please do, because I will not lie if I haven't. I will say I haven't. If I have, then I will feel very proud of myself. And if I haven't, I just need to do better. It's really good for you. Um, this girl on Instagram, her name is Mary Jane Byram. I'm not sure, but she has a really dope channel. She's like a traveler and she's visiting 100 um, countries in one year which I think is super sick and she just put me on to like different remedies from across the world and like different facts about like beauty and um, cold showers and things like raw diets and shit like that and I was just talking about it in my vlog about how I'm going back to my raw diet um like I said before I pretty much do what I want so if I want to eat healthy I will if I don't I won't and that's just that but I am going back because I want to feel better um I just want to feel better and I want my skin to do better like I noticed now that I've been back to eating meat of course my skin is breaking out and of course I feel more tired and I'm at a place right now where I'm really really I'm about my shit right now and not even just like right now just period I'm devoted to being about my shit and I can't sit there and complain about 
not feeling good or like being tired and using that as an excuse when I'm not giving my body what it needs to have that energy. So I just feel like a lot of people don't take accountability for the fact that you're tired all the time, yes, and it sucks, but you're tired because of your diet and how you're eating and you don't exercise. So it's like I had to realize that I have to take responsibility if I really wanna be about my shit and I'm trying to be in my bag and I'm trying to change the world and be a better person and evolve and I wanna help people. I can't help people if I'm laying down in the bed tired all the time. So I gotta eat what I gotta eat to keep my body right, make sure that I'm on top of my fitness routine, um, take care of my skin. Like I, I'm wearing this bodily suit for all of these years that I am having this spiritual experience on earth and if I'm gonna be trapped in this suit, I might as well take good care of it so that I'm able to function and move about my life effectively and for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit on my face for a while and do what it has to do. I'm not gonna put it on my chest and everything um, just yet. <sighs> Fuck it, I will. I will, only because um, it's supposed to be like a full routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this robe. My neck and my chest. Those who don't know about Quijic acid soap, um, I heard that a lot of Korean people use this for skin lightening purposes, or maybe they just sell it to us for that. <laughs> I have no clue, but it is a Korean product and I just heard that it was really, really popular for like skin lightening. I myself am not trying to bleach my skin. I'm not trying to lighten my skin, but I am trying to get rid of my hyperpigmentation, so that's why I'm using it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in, make sure it's rubbed in really, really good. And I'm gonna let this, you know, do its thing. I'm thinking about taking this soap. Well, I actually literally just got the idea as I was talking, but it just came to my head like, what if I could grind this soap down, uh, put some water in it, probably some coconut oil, mix it all together, then that way I can make it into a cream. And I can just kind of rub it on like a cream soap, just rub it on, take it with my fingers, rub it on, and then just wash it off. Cause this whole bar thing is outdated, baby. Like grow up, it's 2018. Anyway, the reason being why I am only focused on and why I'm only using foreign products that are not American is because I truly believe that America wants to kill us. They literally want us to die. Like the products that we use, the food that they feed us, it's just, it's not for us. And that's a whole nother video and conversation. But this makeup remover is by Misha. It's an oil-based makeup remover. You can literally like see the oil separation in it. It's a green tea um, product. All of the ingredients are in Korean, but they did have them in English when I got the, um, the when it was in the box. I just don't have it now, so I can't read all of the ingredients to you, but you can find a lot of these products I got off of Soko Glam. Soko Glam is a Korean website um, where they sell Korean skincare products and there you can find like the whole 10 step Korean thing. They're very educational, um, really good pricing and I caught the 4th of July 30% off sale of all the Misha products so you know I racked up on Misha and Misha's a really good brand. So I got my oil based cleanser for makeup remover. Um, I'm still using my Septafil cleanser just as a basic cleanser because I, I really don't give a fuck too much about the cleanser as long as it doesn't leave my skin like uh, like stripped of life I don't really care about it the next product that I got was a bio peel and it's by Neogen it's really really dope you'll see this later it comes in the form of like I think 50 pads that are saturated in this liquid um, the ingredients are on here it's a lot of fruit extract, um, peel extracts, a lot of citrus in here, seaweed, there's soybean, there's castor oil, there is um, glyconic acid. Glyconic acid is really, really good for hyperpigmentation if you didn't know that, but all of these pads are like saturated. You can see them right there. They're all saturated in the liquid and it's, a, it's been a really good product because one side is soft so you can apply it um, and you can slip your fingers into it. Anyway, you can slip your fingers into it and you rub it across your skin and shit like that and then you can actually flip it so that way you can exfoliate and get like the peel effect. 
So I've really been liking this whole citrus thing. I think it's good because my skin does need some vitamin C, so that's been dope. And then I follow up with my Triple C Lightning Liquid Oil. This stuff is dope because I have oily skin, so usually people who have oily skin have dry skin, and they don't really know that because what happens with your skin is that your skin is producing so much oil because it has it doesn't have enough moisture so because your skin doesn't have enough moisture it's panicking and it feels the need to push out a whole bunch of oil and then it also can have a lot to do with your diet and what you're eating so I use this triple C lightning liquid um, oil and I I don't know if I like it better than my last one that I had that was by Claire's I have to give this a little bit more time but so far I'm really enjoying it it seeps into the skin really really well um, I'm just waiting to see a few more results but I do like the product and I do notice a difference it has pure vitamin C in it it's a hydrate and illuminate it's really really dope um, I use three drops you'll see me do it later and the ingredients are black chokeberry 72% and then it is vitamin C just pure vitamin C liquid like anyway um and it says that I should be keeping this in the refrigerator so I will put it in the refrigerator okay my memory card went full but basically what I was saying was that I have the advanced snail muskin power essence this I don't oh no it is a Korean product but they have a similar one that's a French product that I really like um this is basically it's snail muskin like it's it's the snail slime shit and it's supposedly supposed to be really really good for this skin so it's 96% snail um filtrate mucin it's the snail like shit and it's an essence so it helps the skin lose less moist while keeping the skin smooth and healthy smooth healthy moist everything that this product is saying is true bitch they are not a liar they are not lying it actually is really really amazing it's wonderful for under the eye i don't invest in under eye products i just feel like they don't work <laughs> and honestly if you have a good essence you don't really need one and under my eyes doesn't really get dry um I do experience some darkness in a way it's kind of genetics a lot of women in my family it just runs in our family like um the first sign of aging is under our eyes and actually our hands like I have I don't have the most feminine hands like I got hands that would like like bitch I'm off but anyway so I got this snail shit and I really, really like it. Had to re-up on this one. I had to get it back. It's just a go-to. Then, my toner. I went back to my trusted and loved. I love this toner. It's my Ordinary Skincare. It's the only American product I have. And I support Ordinary Skincare. Their products are suit. This toner is amazing. It act it's a toner that actually works. You know those weak-ass Neutrogena and CoverGirl toners that don't work you're using them it's nothing but alcohol water and food coloring in it because like that shit it just doesn't work like I never had a toner that I felt like actually toned my skin it actually worked especially being a dark girl with hyperpigmentation like it just didn't feel like it worked but this has 7% glyconic acid the pH is 3.6 I don't know what that means but it works for me this product is amazing ordinary skincare is an awesome skin brand they have peels they have they just they're just amazing so it's just a really good product it was eight dollars they have foundations that are medical um i just spilled toner on my phone they're just an amazing company they believe in skincare products being minimal they don't add like a whole bunch of um parabens and unnecessary ingredients in their products it's just a really good product that actually works. This is a great toner, so I love using it. And last but not least, I have my Snail Essence Moisturizer. So I'm a fan of Snail Essence, clearly. It keeps my skin moisturized, and plus I just feel like it keeps it even and glowing, and I love putting snail spit on my face. It's just really amazing. It's the Super Aqua by Misha. It was 30% off. I got it. Now this moisturizer, it's a Korean product as well. It either has to grow on me or I don't really care for it. 
only because I'm going to use it because I paid like I think this was like a 40 50 dollar product so it, it moisturizes the skin but I it leaves me glowy but it's like oh I have an oily skin naturally so it moisturizes well it's just that it kind of leaves this it's not greasy it leaves an oily kind of residue and I don't I'm not really a fan of that I like for my moisturizers to seep in but keep the skin moisturized all day so I'm gonna keep looking for another moisturizer to see if I can find anything else it's not that I don't like it I would prefer a little less grease so I try to use that product um, lightly but I also feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that all of these products that I'm using are pretty moisturizing so yeah and right now I'm just applying this French perfume that I picked up a long time ago um, because I just I want to smell good yeah it smells amazing I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off it's about that time let's go ahead and drop you down so I'm gonna rinse this off of my chest and my neck Topic. I'm going to Miami this no not this weekend this weekend is the all girl show that I'm vlogging for currently that you guys will hear a lot of details about this is about the all girl show um, even though that's pretty boss as well hmm But next weekend, I'm going to Miami for this uh, women's entrepreneurial uh, side hustlers and entrepreneurial panel. And I was chosen to be a panelist and it's ran by the Boss Babe Network. And um, I'm so excited about this event. One, because I've been to Miami before, but never to enjoy it. Um, we just went to go, me and Vince went together to go visit um, his cousin in Miami so we didn't get a chance to like enjoy like we wanted to because I think I had to go to work or something the next day but um, we went there and it was pretty cool his cousin was awesome but I didn't get a chance to explore it like I wanted to so I was invited back to Miami I'm super excited to just go there and you know give knowledge and share things that I've learned just being a female entrepreneur and shit like that so I'm, I'm really really geeked and like honored because I feel like everything that I have been working for is finally paying off and I've been very isolated a lot like isolated from the internet in a way isolated from my family um just very to myself and quiet like you haven't really seen me as interactive as I used to be when I was in high school on Instagram and I'm not really moving the same no more and I love the way that I am living right now I'm so proud of myself so I'm definitely gonna be vlogging Miami for y'all that's gonna be up of course um, I'm still figuring out a couple of details about Miami like I still have to figure out um where I'm gonna be staying. I know I'm gonna do an Airbnb for sure, but I haven't decided which place I'm gonna be staying and, and who I'm gonna be staying with or if I'm gonna be by myself or not. Most likely I'm probably gonna stay with Sarah Lynn. I can't, I can't, I don't know how to properly pronounce her name because I haven't actually met her yet. But um, I'm excited about Miami, so that's gonna be a whole nother vlog coming as well. Right now I'm going to start with the Neo Peel. So, how I'm using this product, I'm sticking three fingers in this pad if you see this is the soft side this is the exfoliating side if you look closely you'll see these little squares that's the scrub so I'm just gonna go ahead and I I'm careful about the way that I swipe first I just want to use the soft side to apply it I'm making sure that I apply it to my neck I don't want premature wrinkles so I'm actually being very gentle about how I apply this product and I am gonna put it on my chest. I'm gonna bring it all around because with this product, you're actually supposed to um, rinse it off. So this is all gonna come off, but I'm now very careful about the way that I handle my skin because I don't want premature wrinkles. I'm getting older. 
I'm 19 by the way. So I'm making sure that I go up, not down, around the eyes. Just pat around the eyebrows as well. Just pat. So yeah, I'm gonna swipe, I'm swiping up. This product is very, very hydrating. Extremely hydrating. I actually did it last night. You're supposed to do it twice a week, but I do what I want. <laughs> Me and this do what I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it, the exfoliating side, and start to exfoliate. What the fuck? That was really weird. I don't know what happened with the electricity, but it was weird. So now I'm going on the exfoliant side to get all the dead skin. And I make sure this area in particular right here, sometimes I get like little acne scars and I feel like it's because I neglect it. It's like close to your ear, like this spot right here. Around my mouth gets crusty. Around my nose in this spot gets crusty. That's the under here on my septum. And I'm gonna stay away from my under eye because I don't want to exfoliate my under eye. The skin is very gentle there. So now I'm going to my forehead. right in between the hollows of my eyes. And this makes your skin so soft. Oh, so soft. Okay. So soft. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this product sit in my skin for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna let it seep in, and when I come back, I'm gonna rinse this product off. And then I'm going to apply a mask. must stay hydrated and applying my skin food mask it's a honey mask I'm feeling it I'm feeling it I think they were trying to be safe about about the perfect balance between just a regular mask and an exfoliant because it has some black sugar in it but it's not as much as I would like it to be it's still a very nice mask it leaves my skin glowing and feeling moisturized um, but I am going to invest in a exfoliant mask a chemical mask um, this I feel like is something for moisture. Um, I already have all the moisture that I need so it's like it leaves my skin soft and it is a nice mask. This is also um, a Korean uh, product as well and it, it's a nice mask. It's just that um, I need another one. I need two like I need different masks. I, I need a mask for when I'm trying to chemically exfoliate and then I'm I also prefer to have a mask for when I need moisture or when I want glow or when I'm you know aiming for texture or something like that. Um I just want to have different options but it is a it is a good mask so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this product off and basically I'm just gonna pat dry or pat wet. Girl Ooh, child. and I'm so glad that I'm doing like a video and I have a lingerie and I'm in my robe and I'm doing like a mask and a full skin routine because let me tell you this month has been I wouldn't describe it as hectic I've been busy I've been busy throwing a show going to Miami and traveling next month you know getting my apartment like next month on the 17th of August I'm going to be moving into my apartment my birthday is on the 14th um, I'm going to be going to Atlanta to visit my mother and my family because I miss them I'm also planning to go to New York for fashion week 
um that I'm still planning out I'm not sure how um, solidified that is but I'm definitely trying to go to New York oh, for sure I just have to plan it out a little bit more if it's not in my planner it's if I don't write it down most likely it's not happening so I have to uh, really sit down and write this out and like I said I refrigerate this product to make sure that it is fresh I'm going to start refrigerating some other products of mine that I have that instruct me to this one didn't instruct me to but I know because it is honey um, I need to keep it refrigerated to keep it fresh and plus I like a cold application with this mask it feels really really good on my skin and it wakes my skin up and because it's cold it tightens my skin the product seeps in and my skin just eats it up like food like it fucking says girl look at my skin girl look at my skin girl now that I have, um, I pretty much got like a good amount of moisture. I'm not going to use that much. I'm just going to use a dime size and put it in my problem areas. And I use that citrus peel. So I'm using glyconic acid following with it. There's no need to do the most, you know, at all. And I'm going to let that toner sit in for a second. See, it was a little, a little dirt on there. Last three products I have are my essence, my oil, and then I have my moisturizer. I'm going to use my oil next because I want it to penetrate my skin first before my essence. Um, I need this to go deep, deep, deep. That vitamin D. Plop, bitch. Plop, bitch, what? So I'm here, cause it runs down quick. Here, forehead. Oh, oh. And I just pat it into the skin with the tips of my fingers. Pat, pat, pat. There is no need to rub anything in. Really just let this product seep in like you, you have to try it in order to understand what I'm talking about, but y'all, this oil, it, it just disappears. Like, it's literally like I, I don't even feel it. Like, my skin literally feels like nothing is on it right now. Like, that's how, like, deep it just penetrates. So I'm just like, yes, I like this. It doesn't feel like an oil. And, like, my skin just starts to plump, and I love that. Should I? You know what? Oh my god, you guys, the video for the promo is so dope for this show. I'm going to post it around like probably like 1.30 because I know people will be on a lunch break. So I'm going to post it around like 1.30. It was really dope. Kind of a spontaneous shoot. Like I just got the idea in my mind. I was like, I think it would look cool if we had like red lights. And then we were just trying stuff. And then I got this idea to put the speaker there. And like we were just trying different poses. I was hanging from shit. It was just really creative I felt like I could really express myself I felt sexy I felt beautiful and it's just empowering women like I don't I'm just I'm in such a fucking mode y'all like I'm in such a fucking mode like it's so go time it's so it's just time to it's just time you feel what I'm saying so I'm gonna put this snail muskin right under my eyes I'm gonna let that seep in I'm gonna put some on my neck on my chest and pat the rest in where it's supposed to be. And like I said, I'm gonna let that sit under my eyes because I use that as if it's like, not an eye mask, but as if it were an eye product because I feel like the moisture that, you know, I just let that sit in there 
and pat it underneath my eyes. No prima torrinta! Because I already do have a couple of wrinkles. Like I think my my main concern is like just under the eyes. Like you can see texture. Like I have texture, so eventually it's gonna be cut. But um the texture thing has gotten a lot better, especially like since the last time I filmed, like my skin was looking horrible. I don't wear makeup anymore. Um, last time I wore makeup was for that shoot. If it's not for like a shoot or something like that, I don't I don't wear makeup anymore. I have no intentions to. I recently learned a lot about makeup and I don't know, I have no interest in it. I like simplicity. I don't like doing things that take me too long unless I want it to take too long with my skincare routine. I will invest time into that because ultimately you know like I will invest time into something like this is a this is an outer shell that I wear every day but makeup is just I'm not interested anymore it's like it's 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 I've been there done that it's just it's so out of season for me personally I, I, don't, I don't know about everybody else but makeup just as a whole is out of season for me I think the trends these days are really really corny I think a lot of y'all are reaching y'all trying to find something all these weird challenges we already have the products that we need it's like what more is there to do it's just so extra but overall makeup is not good for your skin it damages the barrier over time it makes you age so that you can buy more um, the industry as a whole I've just learned a lot about and I don't care I'm over it I don't I don't wear makeup anymore I just I don't know I'm bored with it it's done like that's I was on that shit like 2015 2016 beat face every day if I wanted to do a look and I wanted to slay a look I definitely could but it's just out of style for me and I'm bored with it and I'm on to some other shit moving on now I'm just putting on my moisturizer this I will softly rub into my skin um I'm gonna put it on my neck but you guys are going to see what I mean about the luminous glow. The luminous glow that it gives. It sort of reminds me of... And I'm being very gentle. Like, I'm barely touching my face even though it looks like I'm not. Um, it reminds me of the face mask that I had on earlier. Or that's the type of, like, glow that it, it gives. Look at this. It's just like So here's what we're working with. This is the after. She's glowy. She's plump. She's healthy, you know. She's healthy. She's here. She's thriving. Let's get into the day, you dig? So right now, I'm going to go ahead brush my eyebrows. I'm about to go make some hot tea and eat it with a hot meal. Um, I'm gonna eat some spaghetti before I go and then I have a lot of errands to run. This has been fun, but it's time to get back into this bag and back into the business. So it's been awesome having you guys on my channel. I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know if this is going to be a vlog. I don't know what it's going to be, but I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, see you on the next one. Bye.